Algonquin Park is a vast and wild expanse of land located in central Ontario. It provides over 7,000 square kilometers of protected habitat for countless forms of wildlife. It is an ecosystem where the boreal forests of the north exist alongside southern hardwoods, making for a stunning diversity of life. And for a million visitors a year, the park is a paradise for hiking, camping, and canoeing. But beneath the waters of Algonquin is something truly special. Brook trout, also known as speckled trout. In autumn, hundreds of Algonquin's lakes are host to a hidden but beautiful display of color that rivals the park's famous fall foliage. Brook trout gather in concentrated areas to spawn. Females lay their eggs on underwater springs seeping through the lake bottom. Males follow the females closely. And the competition to fertilize eggs can be fierce. After mating, the female gently covers the eggs with gravel. The constant flow from the spring water ensures the eggs are well oxygenated and can develop into healthy fish. The eggs hatch in the late winter, and by springtime, many young brook trout have done something truly amazing. They travel up tiny creeks into the forest. Remarkably, young brook trout can sometimes be found deep in the forest up to half a kilometer from their lake of origin. Here they can avoid predators like other fish and bigger brook trout until they are large enough to move back down into the lake. Algonquin's cold water fishery is legendary and has been studied for over 75 years. Dr. Mark Ridgway is the director of the Harkness Fisheries Lab in Algonquin Park. Algonquin Park is situated uh, in a very special place in southern Ontario. Um, it covers the highest elevation areas of southern Ontario, and it covers the area that was the drainage system of the Great Lakes before Niagara Falls was made. Some of the lakes contain brook trout and lake trout populations in substantial numbers. Other lakes contain unique forms that are distinct to the Great Lakes themselves, but can only be found in Algonquin Park because of that post-glacial drainage. The brook trout is a favorite among anglers, admired both for its beauty and its delicious taste. I like brook trout the best. <laughs> My name is Adam Wilson. If you catch a brook trout and you take it to shore, clean it, cook it right away, there's nothing better than that. The uh, reason that they're still there, and thankfully they're still there, is uh, because of access. Uh, you have to canoe and portage quite a ways into these lakes to get to these systems, and that helps protect them. And there's no regulated winter fishery on these systems for about half a century now. So those two things combined really preserve them w well within the park boundaries, and, um, and one of the few remaining holdouts actually of, of brook trout in the province of Ontario. Algonquin's trout lakes are under threat. While the vast majority of park lakes still have healthy fish communities, several of Algonquin's lakes have already been altered by invasive species. Whether it is illegally introduced northern pike, smallmouth bass, rock bass, or rainbow smelt, these alien invaders have effectively destroyed the brook trout fishery in every lake in which they're present. Live bait fish pose a serious threat to Algonquin, and their possession and use in the park is illegal. As an angler, you have a great responsibility. 
the potential consequences for violating the rules can be very serious. Well, one of the risks to these special lakes in Algonquin Park is the introduction of live bait fish. Now, you would think that small fish wouldn't have a big problem with them, but they do. And some in particular, like rainbow smelt, present a change to the lake food web. That is, they kind of take over that open water zone and they change the nature of the, uh, the food web that people enjoy for fishing and that the park is trying to protect. You can help keep Algonquin's brook trout lakes healthy by following these simple rules. Always check your fishing regulations for rules and restrictions on fishing in Algonquin Park. Never use live bait fish in Algonquin Park. And report anyone using live bait fish to park staff or by calling 1-877-TIPS-MNR. That's 1-877-847-7666. Never move fish from one lake to another. Respect catch and possession limits. For a long time, these lakes have continued on just fine because informed anglers have regarded them as important, self-sufficient, and are able to sustain a fishery on these systems, and they're true. Those attitudes are right. But when people come in with these other kinds of introductions, that kind of balance is upset and uh, what the anglers would expect to find isn't gonna be there in the future if they do this. So good angling and good attitudes is not incompatible with conservation of brook trout and lake trout. Algonquin Park plays a vital role in protecting Ontario's biodiversity. And natural brook trout lakes are an important part of Ontario's heritage. If we all do our part to halt the spread of alien and invasive species, we can keep Algonquin Park brook trout lakes healthy for generations to come. <laughs>